Mitochondria are an organelle in some eukaryotic cells or most eukaryotic cells. They're present in fungi, in plant cells, in animal cells, and they have an outer membrane. So here's our outer membrane. And the outer membrane lets most things across so that the outside of the mitochondria is similar in ion concentration to just inside the outer membrane. They also have an inner membrane and this inner membrane has a lot of folds in it. And these folds are to maximize the surface area of the mitochondria. So here's our inner mitochondrial membrane. And then that space between the two is called our intermembrane space. So the inner membrane is selectively permeable and that means that it lets some things through and not others. So that the matrix, which is what we call the fluid inside the mitochondria, has a different concentration of ions to that that's outside in the cytosol. These folds are called cristae. And so remember that they maximize the surface area of the inner mitochondrial membrane. The size of a mitochondrion can vary. So from one to 10 micrometers. And we can have a number of mitochondria in a cell. So some eukaryotes have just one mitochondria in a cell quite a large one. Others have hundreds of mitochondria and some have thousands of mitochondria in a cell. And it depends how much they rely on the metabolism of taking oxygen and using that in order to generate ATP, which is our currency of energy within a cell. Let's look at what happens with that. So our inner membrane, I'm going to draw over here. So this is our inner mitochondrial membrane. Up here is our intermembrane space. So remember, that's the space between the outer and the inner membrane. And then on the other side, we have the matrix. And this is selectively permeable. Now, we have a number of proteins that can be um, within that membrane. So they're associated with it. And I'm going to draw four of them first. These are the four complexes of the electron transport chain. So what do these proteins do? Um, so complexes one and then complex three and complex four are involved in transporting protons from the matrix out into the intermembrane space. So they're moving them out here. And that means we have a higher concentration of protons outside in the intermembrane space than we have in the matrix. We then have another protein called ATP synthase. Okay, so that is A ATP synthase. And this brings those protons back into the matrix. And as it does that, it performs an important role where it generates ATP, our currency for energy in the cell. That means we can use the ATP as our energy source for carrying out different reactions. And to do that, it uses ATP. DP plus inorganic phosphate. And in our electron transport chain, our electrons flow through the different complexes. Ultimately, they reduce molecular oxygen to water and they pump protons across. Those protons can come back through into the matrix, allowing us to generate ATP. So the structure of a mitochondria is really important to allow this process to happen because of that inner mitochondrial membrane, which allows us to have a different concentration of ions across it because it's selectively permeable.